Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Understanding Cell Call. This short presentation will explain the technical fundamentals of cell call, as well as how cell call is used in aviation. As the name implies, cell call is a form of selective calling. Like other forms of selective calling, cell call allows radio users, in this case the crew of an aircraft, to ignore radio traffic that's not intended for them. Aircraft are identified by two pairs of letters, and the transmitting ground station uses this code to indicate which aircraft they'd like to communicate with. Cell call is not a new technology. It was first introduced in 1957 and is still widely in use today. In fact, almost all long haul and even many shorter range jets are equipped with cell call. Cell call can be used for both shorter range VHF and longer range HF communications. Keep in mind that cell call signals are sent only by ground stations, not by the aircrafts themselves. A cell call code consists of two pairs of letters, for example, GQEF. This code is usually placketed somewhere in the cockpit and is permanent in the sense that the code is assigned to the aircraft, not to a specific crew, flight, etc. The permissible letters are A through S, with the letters I, N, and O being unused. Note also that within each pair, the letters must be ordered alphabetically. For example, GQ instead of QG, or EF instead of FE. These letters each correspond to an audio frequency tone in the range of about 300 to 1500 Hz. Cell call codes are sent in the form of dual tones. The first two tones are transmitted together for one second, and then, after a 0.2 second pause, the second pair of tones are transmitted together for one second. Let's work through an example. We'll use the code GQEF in this example. Tones G, 582.1 Hz, and Q, 1202.3 Hz, are transmitted together for one second. After a 0.2 second pause, we transmit the next pair of tones together, tone E at 473.2 Hz and tone F at 524.8 Hz, again for one second. So the entire two-tone cell cal code would sound something like this. Aboard an aircraft, a cell call decoder is used to detect the presence of that aircraft's cell call code. When the plane's code is detected, an alert is generated in the form of an audible indication, such as a chime, and or a lighted visual indication. This alerts the crew to turn up the volume on their communications radio. Pressing reset stops or clears the alerts and rearms the system. Note too that there are often multiple decoders in one cell call unit for handling multiple frequencies at both VHF and at HF. Prior to 2006, cell call codes were issued by ARINC, Aeronautical Radio Incorporated, but are now issued by ASRI, or Aviation Spectrum Resources Incorporated. There are 10,290 cell call code combinations, but over 35,000 codes have been issued to aircraft. This means that a given code may be assigned to more than one aircraft. Clearly, this could create problems, so duplicate codes are typically assigned to aircraft in different geographical areas of operation. There are also plans to increase the number of tones from 16 to 32, with initial deployments projected to begin sometime after 2020. In summary, cell call is a type of selective calling used in aviation. Cell call is designed to reduce crew fatigue by providing an alert when their aircraft is being called by a ground station, and cell call can be used for both HF and VHF communications. Cell call codes are made up of two pairs of letters, with each letter corresponding to a different audible tone. A cell call encoder sends each pair by transmitting the two tones simultaneously. Each of these dual tones lasts one second, with a 0.2 second pause between them. Lastly, keep in mind that there are many more registered aircraft than available cell call codes, so a given code may be used by multiple aircraft. This concludes our presentation, Understanding Cell Call. Thanks for watching.